What's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with Joe's rule, of course, the Descarender, and to go up against Jordan, or Jordanis. Might have butchered that name more, I need to, but uh, yeah, he's another Poketuber and a fantastic one of it at that. So I'm gonna link his channel down below, and basically, uh, this is our third round in the Litio tryouts, and of course, you know, wanna be a part of that, I wanna try it out, I really, really wanna show my brawn. And I gotta get my other chance to do so, and um, yeah, this is for round, and um, this was a very, very tough battle, um, it really was, and I am, um, yeah, you guys will see, this was 30 turn battles, as you can see from my opponent's side here, I got Exegril, Inferno, Flodius, um, Manitric, Hydreigon, and Frogadier, so a very, very offensively oriented team with Frogadier. And Flodius is a potential wall, but that's I think that's about it. Like there's a lot of offensively oriented Pokemon here. And now look at my team. We got Arcanine, Blastoise, Bronsong, Landorus, um, Manibus, and Curem Black. And my team is well more on the stolly side. I got four Pokemon that's really slow and got two Pokemon that's a sweeper that are really, really fast paced. And they have an issue against this kind of Pokemon. So just looking through this team here, I knew I needed to play Stolly, I needed to whittle my opponent down, and I needed to find an opening, and I needed to get rid of Flodius, because once Flodius was gone, I can just spam Outrage with Curem, and uh, yeah, th that's basically my strategy, like, that is the only thing I'm gonna do, so, with all these my guys, let's go. So right, from the get-go, I decided that Arcanine can deal with almost anything in his team, and that is what I'm gonna do, and he's gonna lead off with, of course, the Frogadier. And really here, I was thinking, Frogadiers usually just go for U-turns, he's not gonna overpredict here, so I might as well outspeed him with the extreme speed, do some damage, and then hope for him to go for a U-turn. That is what goes down, and well, that is great, I do score a crit here, which probably won't matter as much really, but uh, yeah, I really needed stuff like that, I think that thing is scoffed after all. So anyway, Hydreigon is gonna come in here, and I am obviously completely walled here, so I need to switch out, I have no nothing that really can take a Dark Pulse, so I'm gonna go to Cabal and hope for him to go for Draco, sadly he goes for a U-turn, which means that he will take back the momentum, and he's gonna go back to his frog there here, and um, I should have just killed this thing here and now, <clears throat> I decided to go for Light Screen instead, <coughs> oh that was, that was super... So, sorry about that. So I'm gonna do the cycle for light screen. Just want the um, hazards really up. I was gonna say, but uh, the screen's up, and he's gonna see what I'm doing, and he's gonna go to his dragon. I basically fought here while well, I did go for reflect that. I should at least be able to maybe try one dark pulse from here. I, I am not. I mean, obviously it scores a crit here, but I don't think I would survive that. And even so, I will just anyway gone for the. Jarabol. So anyway, I'm gonna show my Curum Black here, and I was hoping for him to switch out to his Florius. He is actually gonna stay in banking on me, will not dare to go for an outrage. And obviously, since I am locked in here, or not locked in, yes, I am. I'm scarfed after all. I can't fend him off with, of course, the Iron Hits. I need to switch out again. So I gotta go to Boom Hour because of, well, the light screen's up, which means that a deep pulse or anything like that won't really do like a lot of damage, but I also knew that this is probably the gateway in for the floor just come in so I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and go for a Skull actually because like I said, Skull there is really one of those moves that it hits neutral and anything had he stayed in with the Hydreigon, you know, shame on me if that's a pot but um, really now, if you go, you see the damage I'm doing with the Skull it's, it's lacklustering at best and I don't score a burn, so no residual damage either and I'm in a point here where I really can't fend him off properly and Flodius is super annoying to deal with really, so I'm gonna go to Dolph because, well, I do kind of manage to um, deal with one of these Pokemon that are rather well with the Arcanine. Arcanine can't really do anything to it, but at the same time, uh, the only thing Arcanine needs to worry about is um, moves like Toxic and stuff like that that can kinda get the residual damage going on it, and that's kinda annoying at best, so I did predict him here to switch out. So I did go to go for Galtra instead, and he's gonna, of course, like I said, switch out, he's gonna go to his Hydreigon, which is not bad, it's not bad, but this time I'm not gonna make, make that mistake. If he decides to switch out uh, to his Flodius on his Outrage, I'm still able to switch it, switch back to my Arcanine, so I decided to go for 
the outrage and yeah that was awesome that was great that was perfect so he's gonna go to his next care I was really surprised by this player because I thought that floor just was the right switching in here because he can retaliate with the Moonblast but no so he's gonna go to his Mega Manetric, get the Intimidate off. Due to Scarf, I am able to have speed, and uh, I won't be able to kill him. The, uh, the Intimidation actually saves him, but at the same time, um, he's gonna go for Volt Switch instead of a Hidden Power Ice. I have no idea what kind of damage a Hidden Power Ice would really do against a Curin Black. I have no idea. But he's gonna go back to his Frog there, and I'm not risking the confusion. I really need to be able to outspeed everything in his team here. He's still got the Excadrill, he's still got the monster is Infernape and I knew that so I decided to go for my Blastoise taking the Skull here and what do you know I don't get the burns but he sure as hell do and now I have the residual damage on my side and that is obviously not gonna help out a whole lot now is it so I'm, I am back to go for Scalding and um, it's really super annoying because I know Florius can deal with that and um, basically here I'm hoping for a burn on him but uh, as long as he keeps me at a distance with Floor Jess, I can't really do anything. And I think he predicted me here to switch out, but well, I was definitely in the range of where I just wanted to... I'm not going to say spam Skull, but at the same time I knew Mega Blastoise can't outspeed Ectodrill, he can't outspeed out of Infernape. Uh, so at this point, my Blastoise is kinda... Meh, it's gonna fall, and um, eventually I have further no real use of it, so I'm gonna decide that you know, I rather get a matchup and losing Boomhauer or Blasters in that process. And um, honestly, it worked well here because I can't go right into Galtera. And uh, yeah, I can force myself to go for an Iron Head because I will still take out the Manetric because I'm obviously not locked in. And Florius will be killed by that, so I can force him to Excadrill. And I had that in mind that it could be. I can't really stress this enough. I was back on this thing being on an air balloon and luckily for me that is exactly what happened so I break the balloon which means that my ladders can come in and uh, yeah that's awesome that's really all I wanted so I'm gonna switch out now go to Gryfer. Gryfer can definitely deal with this Pokemon no no hands down rock slide it's not even gonna kill it but definitely a foul play will do so I decided to just go for that and now I have a matchup that's kind of you know I have to really speed this thing up a bit because I was basically hoping here that I could kind of force him out. I did not expect Moonblast to do as much damage as it did. So I decided to kind of sack my my Gryfa and then get an easy switch into my Landris to just destroy it. But sadly here he really managed to live, you know, go for aromatherapy, wish dolling. And um, basically due to the process here, I decided that I need to do the hard switch. I need to make the tough decision and bring in Arcanine and have Gryfer for fodder later on. So he's gonna go for Moonblast and obviously it's not gonna do a whole lot here. I predicted of course attack coming my way and um, yeah, he's back on track. That wish stalling could be the end of me. It really really can and I knew that so I decided that he's gonna stay in now no matter what. So I'm free to go for Flare Blitz and uh, yeah I should definitely have done this play for get go because damn! That damage from an in uninvested Arcanine, it just did so much damage, wow! That is some badass damage. And uh, yeah, like I said there really, there was no way for me of really, you know, fending this thing off or anything like that, and that was hardly a point. I just wanted to have some damage on it and force it out. He kind of decided to sack off his Mega Manetric. And uh, that's really fine. Mega Manetric is not a huge threat for me in this battle. Um, I would honestly, I do feel that Mega Manetric is a very tough Pokemon to deal with, but I had the right Pokemon to deal with it, and uh, that's a rare case. <laughs> it's really a rare case. So anyway, of course, residual damage from the Toxic is kind of whittling me down here. I can't really stand much longer, and I think my opponent kind of saw that. So I decided here to actually sack off my Gryfa. Because uh, I still need Arcanine to intimidate uh, Infernape and just shut it down, really. So, Rockstar, of course, will kill the Gryfer. And here's where I realize one thing, and this is gonna make a huge change here. I brought the wrong Landris. I have one wrong <laughs> Landris that is for uh, giveaways, and that doesn't have the rock, um, rock polish. And I did not realize it until I switched my Landris in there, and that's really bad. 
because I can't outspeed either Ex Excadrill or Inferno without that. So my, I thought I was going to actually, to do actually, what do you call it, to um, <laughs> start sweeping here. But luckily here, I do sing with my Landers because I predicted him to predict me to switch out to Arcanine, and I'm basically free here to go for Earth Power. And since I have Sludge Bomb on this thing, I am able to take this guy out too. But I decided to just go for a power just for the hell of it. So his last Pokemon is the Infernape. I still have three Pokemons left. Curran Black, Arcanine and Landorus. But without the... Um, ooh, what do you call it? Without the Rock Polish, I won't be able to outspeed this thing. And I won't potentially break its Sash. I decided to go into my Arcanine. Because I've predicted him to go for Flare Blitz. Or really... um, What do you call it? Uh, um, well, he did obviously go for Fire Punch, which I did not expect. So anyway, I decide, decided here that he could go for Close Combat. I just wanted to really um, find that out, so I decided to uh, switch back on him. But he's going to keep going for Fire Punches. And uh, that really tell me one thing, that I was sure this guy was Scarfed at this point, and I decided to uh, bring back Dolph yet again. Now his uh, attack is halved, of course. And I decided to go for Morning Sun because, of course, I thought that he was, uh, <laughs> that he was, what do you call it? Uh, damn it, that was scarce. But my opponent is actually, and I can't stress this enough, he is actually focus sashed. And I did not see that one coming. Had I knew that, I would have gone for extreme speed. Luckily for me, though, he goes for another fire punch for some reason. And I break his sash here, and now he's gonna switch move. And I was like, oh. Snap, I could have screwed up myself badly here. I could have really screwed myself up. Like I said there, I did switch out the ladders back and forth just to really scout that if I could do a play like that. But um, now I know it isn't Scarf, so that's a good thing. But like I said, at the same time, damn, I really, really could have screwed myself over. So my Arcanine or Dolph, what a champ, really, really clinging on. You know, he won every matchup almost he was in. And it was great seeing him in action. So the last Pokemon is of course my own Curum. And like I said, they're due to me being Scarfed and not him. I'm going to be able to outspeed. And uh, that is the game. It was definitely, Jordan, really, it was a very, very good game. I liked that a lot. Um, it got much closer than I wanted to. And I did some very, very bad plays, definitely in the end there. And um, it could have really screwed myself over. I think we're even through and through, and I think you got a lot of good things going on your side. I just think my stall game really brought your Pokemon to an end in the <laughs> well, when it all was said and done. So yeah, you know, with all said and done, really, I'm definitely like, me not having the rock polish made this aspect of this battle very, very, very intimidating for me, because I did realize that my opening for a sweep could not happen. It was done. I couldn't do it. I needed to rely on Curem to sweep. And I knew that was not going to work if his uh, Inferno was scarfed. And that is why I did the intimidations on it to kind of whittle it down in some fashion. Luckily for me, it was sashed. And even more so, luckily, it didn't go for close combat against Dark Knight to kind of kill it. Since I didn't go for extreme speed to break its sash. It's one of those things that it would have changed the battle so much so Jordan was just as worth a win as I was and I hope my fourth round goes better and I have switched out a lot of things on this team to uh, contradict my stalliness because I do realize that I can't stall uh, against a vest pressure I just I can't do it uh, so anyway guys I want to thank you for watching of course and a little small update on the stream to on Saturday I'm gonna stream a bit early due to Eurovision Song Contest here in Sweden or you know in the world Europe so due to that, we're going to wait go for a party, so I need to stream early. So I'm going to start, I think that's uh, 11 a.m. on uh, GMT. But I'm going to keep you guys posted on Twitter, so make sure to follow me there. And, uh, yeah. It's the sky's limit, guys. Don't forget it. And uh, have a good day until then. Take care, guys. Bye.